The Mitra dynasty refers to a group of local rulers whose name incorporated the suffix Mitra and who are thought to have ruled the area of Mathura from around 150 BCE to 50 BCE. They are not known to have been satraps nor kings, and their coins only bear their name without any title, therefore they are sometimes simply called the Mitra rulers of Mathura. Alternatively, they have been dated from 100 BCE to 20 BCE. The Mitra dynasty was replaced by the Indo-Scythian northern satraps from around 60 BCE. Some sources consider that the Mitra dynasty ruled at a later date, during the 1st or 2nd century CE, and that they ruled from Mathura to Sakita, where they replaced the Deva dynasty. In addition to the Mitra dynasties of Sakita Kosala Kingdom and Mathura, there were Mitra dynasties in Ahichatra Panchala Kingdom and Kaushambi Vatsa Kingdom. During the 1st century BCE to 2nd century CE, the Mitras of Kaushambi also appear to have extended their hegemony over Magadha including Pataliputra, and possibly Kanauj as well. The dynasty Seven rulers of Mathura are known. Gomitra Gomitra II Brahmamitra Dhritamitra Suryamitra Vishnamitra Satyamitra These rulers are never mentioned as kings or raja on their coins, there is therefore a possibly that they may only have been local rulers and vassals to larger king. Gomitra II and Brahmamitra especially are known for their large number of coins, which is not so much the case for other rulers. Relation with the Indo-Greeks From numismatic, literary and epigraphic evidence, it seems that the Indo-Greeks had control over Mathura at some time, especially during the rule of Menander I the control of Mathura seems to have continued for some time under the successors of Menander, with Strato I, Antimachus and Apollodotus II, where they were facing the territory of the Sungas. Coins of Menander and Strato can be found in the area of Mathura, and Ptolemy records Menander as having ruled as far as Mathura Madura in Book 7, I, 47 of his Geographia. An inscription in Mathura discovered in 1988 mentions the last day of year 116 of Yavana hegemony Yavanaraja. Also attesting presence of the Indo-Greeks in the 2nd century BCE. The inscription would date to the 116th year of the Yavana era thought to start in 186-185 BCE which would give it a date of 70 or 69 BCE. The Yavanaraja inscription reads, on this day, the year 116, 116, of the Yavana Kingdom, in the fourth month of winter on the thirtieth day, this is the well and tank of Ahagani, the mother of the merchant Virabala, who was the son of Gosadatta, a Brahmin of the Maitreya clan, with her son Virabala, daughter-in-law Bhagori, and grandson Suradatta, Arsabadeva, and Viradatta. May their merit increase the Indo-Greeks may have been supplanted by Indo-Scythians around that date, who would then rule in Mathura as the northern satraps. From this time also, circa 150 BCE, archaeological research at Mathura reports an important growth of the city and extensive building of fortifications. Stone sculptures in Mathura are also known from this period onwards, although Indo-Greek artistic influence cannot be readily seen, given the suggestions of Greek presence and control concomitantly with the rule of the Mitra dynasty in the same time frame 150 BCE, it is therefore thought that there may have been a sort of tributary relationship between the Mitra dynasty and the Indo-Greeks to the west. Numerous coins of Rajuvula have been found in company with the coins of the Strato group in the eastern Punjab to the east of the Jhelum and also in the Mathura area. Topic: <laughs> Shungas to the east. The period in which the Mitra dynasty ruled in Mathura roughly corresponds to the Hindu Sunga dynasty 180 BCE to 80 BCE. however it doesn't seem that the Shungas ruled in Mathura or Surasena since no Shunga coins or inscriptions have been found there. The Mitra dynasty was replaced by the Indo-Scythian northern satraps around 60 BCE. <laughs> Data. Rulers of Mathura. 
Another dynasty of local rulers, named the Data Kings, is also known to have ruled in Mathura. These rulers are known as Sashadatta, Ramadatta, Sisakandradatta, and Sivadatta. The coins of Ramadatta usually represent a Lakshmi standing, and facing elephants. It is thought that they came just before, and were replaced by the Mitra dynasty. <laughs> <laughs> 